So um, I had the opportunity to attend a conference recently, and one of the issues that was discussed was advancing clean energy. And uh, speakers included uh, representatives from a private firm that you all may have heard of, Bloom Energy. And they shared a study that I had not been aware of. And some of you may be interested in, in this information. It was a study by a consulting group called M Cubed. And they found that there's a prolifer proliferation of backup generators across California with nearly 90% being diesel fueled posing significant obstacles to achieving greenhouse gas reduction targets and driving nearly, they have 136 million in annual health costs. 22% of, uh, there was a 22% increase of these generators in Southern California and a 34%, uh, and that was in last year, 22% uh, in the prior year, a 34% in the Bay Area over the last three years. And I want to point this out because the uh, Bloom Energy connected it with uh, rolling blackouts and that when uh, electricity is, is interrupted that or whenever there is something like that that happens that people come up with solutions to address a serious problem for them. And it is a serious problem for many people to have their electricity interrupted. Many people are unable to um, do whatever they need to have done, whether it is to uh, provide the energy for a medical device that must be operated, to uh, they, they cannot lose uh, their refrigerator of food, that they do not have significant enough funds to replace that food. Uh, many people are concerned about sitting in the dark in a house where there is crime, and in fact, some believe an increase in crime. Uh, but um, there is a, a response from Californians. And I don't believe it is because they don't care about the environment. I do believe it is because they have concerns and that they are trying to address them. Um, so I think it's important to be aware of that. Some of the comments of um, the electric vehicles, and I spoke about this on an earlier item, not everyone can go out and buy a new car. Not everyone has the funds to address their house to be able to um, have a charger in their home. Not everyone, it's, it's true. And I appreciate when I look at the screen that I hear and I appreciate the speakers um, that they, it appears that, that uh, the speakers that, that there are many speakers that don't have issues with buying a new car or with trying to figure out what to do when their electricity does not work, that it's not an issue for them. However, and uh, congested pricing that was brought up, uh, and I appreciate the vice mayor bringing up the $5 plus for a gallon of gas. Uh, I, I drive a Prius. I do not drive uh, an electric vehicle. However, um, I recently spent $45 to fill my uh, Prius and, and I, and all, it was at Costco and many of us, um, sadly, uh, other people were concerned about this, were talking about this, that it is an issue having to the cost. And I think that as much as uh, many of these ideas are well-intended, I think that, it, um, that there is uh, sometimes overreach and, and a disregard for the impact on regular folk. Many people do not make 100,000 plus dollars a year. Many people were, did not work from their home uh, all of the, and do not work from their home. Many people, in fact, drive trucks to carry their uh, tools that they need to go to work. If the, and in fact, with the increased crime, many people have had their cars stolen and have to figure out how to replace a truck uh, that is very expensive as well as their, as well as their tools. But, um, I, as much as I appreciate uh, uh, moving and encouraging us to try to be more green, and I also want to commend uh, Member Desog for mentioning the trees. Uh, planting trees is a big deal. It really helps the environment. It's something that many people can do, as well as um, you know, planting certain plants and whatnot in their gardens if they have access to that. Um, 
something that we was shared in the transport. And I want to commend our commissioners for their service on the Transportation Commission, the reports and our staff, the reports were well written. There's a lot of information there that clearly show that it is in fact like 10% or less to drive the electric vehicles. And I'm not sure if there was something about the percentage of bicyclists. Um, I do want to share um, in regards to the safety, the numbers do not show the decrease in the uh, fatalities that we would like. And I actually think there have been fewer drivers on the roads because of COVID. Um, and yet we haven't seen that now. That could actually be because it's not statistically, there's just not statistically enough numbers to be able to read anything into it. Um, however, um, I do believe that accidents do happen. And I do want to caution people that um, uh, may not be. Uh, appreciative of the risk of having uh, people of all, you know, the suggestion that people of all ages and families can be out riding their bike and we can all uh, be uh, very crushed almost on roads nowadays, the slow streets, and I voted against the closure of Versailles. I think it is a serious problem. The traffic is rerouted onto Calhoun, Washington, when you go get to Broadway. We nearly have head-on collisions all of the time between cars that are trying. And we don't have to worry about 45 or 35 even in on Otis by uh, my home. It is close to zero. It is close to being parked everywhere from Bay Farm across to South Shore. And I think it's sad that uh, um, I don't, uh, I'm not sure that other people want to admit that there has been an increase in traffic uh, and the data regarding the public transportation, tra public transportation usage is down. How many years will it be down? Well, let me tell you, we don't know because many people still have serious concerns about riding a bus, riding BART, as well as not just COVID, but also the dangerousness of riding public transportation. There are some people that don't want to address that. It is there. You, if you look for it, you will see it, and people are afraid. Um, I have taken BART. I myself have been assaulted in this town. I have been confronted by someone on BART uh, along with other passengers. And uh, there, I have many friends in Alameda who are green who will not take BART uh, because of uh, their fear. Uh, and they have not gone back to the bus for multiple reasons. But I think it's important that we recognize that as well intended as uh, these ideas are, some of them are completely impractical. And uh, some of them I think are misguided. And I think uh, some of the actions taken are in fact increasing the dangers uh, to the public at large. And I, and I have serious concerns about it. Uh, and my, me, myself, I'm at three and a half years recovering from a bicycle accident that occurred in this town. And I will not be supporting either of these plans. Thank you.